All right, what's up guys? So today <clears throat> I got my transformer rail and uh, basically I'm gonna touch base a little bit on it, kind of what I think about it. So I was gonna go with the element flat bar, six foot square, but then I, you know, I really couldn't figure out, <clears throat> you know, what I wanted to do. <clears throat> so I kind of went on Amazon, I saw that the braille guys were using the imperial rails, uh, the round and uh, square flat bars and <clears throat> they're pretty decent the price they're about 150 bucks each and they featured the transformer rail um, and it was the bench version I want to say it was the six foot or eight foot but <clears throat> they used that in a couple of their videos and I was like man that's pretty sick you know um, one of the parks that I go to is the YMCA you'll see it featured in a lot of my view uh, videos and there's a lot of ledges a lot of good hubbas and stuff like that but there's just no flat bar but there is a giant section where people play games of skate practice their flip tricks and flat ground anything right freestyle whatever and <clears throat> one thing i noticed is if i brought this there that'd be a huge win for everybody and when it gets really packed it's like man i don't really want to skate well the only other park around here besides jackson and that place is always packed always a lot of people that i know so i'm like eh, i kind of want to just do my own thing well then i end up at the mbk naval base uh not mbk excuse me trf skate park <clears throat> which is featured in another one of my videos and that has a flat bar and a round rail but the park is kind of small so when there is a lot of people you know you're kind of getting you're gonna have to wait so if like i'm practicing you know let's say a smith grind you know and I'm getting close I'm getting close I want to just keep going after it as fast as possible you know <clears throat> sorry I gotta clear my throat a lot but basically I want to go after it as fast as possible and when I'm waiting for a couple guys to do some tricks on it you know I kind of lose my cooldown and that mojo if you're a skater you understand what I'm talking about so I was looking into rails like crazy and I went on the transformer site and it turns out Braille um, on their website if you download the app Braille Army you can get 10% off I want to say um, they sell the transformer rails on their website um, just they say right now due to COVID and demand it takes a little bit same with the transformer rail website um, I think I paid 288 for my six foot just basic round and square rail without the bench and the reason why I did it without the bench is because I would love to have that but I mean there's a pretty big price difference and I mean there's ledges everywhere so I was like I'm glad they made this rail it comes in orange comes in black and you can type in on Google like transformer rail coupons and that's what I did so I was able to get free shipping um, on top of I want to say 10% <clears throat> so if you just buy it and you check out whatever it's gonna be like 315 bucks after shipping on average depending where you're located um, I want to say they're based out of Kentucky I could be severely wrong on that I'd, I'd really have to look but nonetheless um, I bought it so the shipping was free ground shipping so I expected it to be about seven days um, I can't remember what day I bought it but it said oh you're gonna be delivered on the 14th well obviously it's not transformers rails fault but i'm assuming because it weighs 40 pounds feels more like 60 so just be aware of that when you buy it you know if you're going to be lugging it into a car that be you know you're going to be moving a heavy box <clears throat> so i already stripped it out of the box because i wanted to put it in the car uh, i drive a jeep compass trailhawk so mid-size not mid-size excuse me small compact suv i guess you can call it mid-size I mean, as far as that goes, I normally drive my 2009 Tahoe with three rows of seating, you know, so to me, this is small. Um, if you have a truck, I mean, it's going to be absolutely no issue if you have any sort of open bed um, or even a small car where like the RAV4 where the windows roll down, you know, you can hang it out of the back of the windows pretty easily. I have not tried to put it into a car. Um, I have a Honda Civic hatch i know for a fact it'll fit in even with the racing seats because my window does open 
um, but I'm gonna try to put it in the 97 Civic and I'm gonna see you know with the seats folded down how comfortable is it what do I got to do will it fit so when I do discover that I'll let you guys know um, I'll probably do that tomorrow but yeah so basically what I want to say is if you're looking at the price point 300 versus 150 so you buy both rails imperial rails from Amazon with tax in Washington granted it is going to be prime delivery I don't know if it's actually going to be two day shipping sometimes they say that but it's not um, you're looking at like a little around 330 340 I want to say because I remember it was being like it was like a $50 difference in price so I did save some money by spending more money if that makes any sense to you guys but because I knew I was going to buy both of them but I wanted something that if I was comfortable on round rails and I was with somebody who was comfortable on square rails, you know, it, well, he skated. it. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you can because it takes two seconds. It comes with the tool. That I didn't know. So a lot of these videos, I see people skating it. They don't really talk about, you know, the packaging. How does it come? What to expect? So it showed up in a big box, six-foot box, seven-foot box, and it was packaged just so well i wish i remember i was shocked it had this green saran wrap that kept everything so crispy and tight and inside the legs it's a two-piece leg so you have this this guy right here this guy right here and that's the upper leg so it comes with two of those and inside that actually there was nothing in that so it was a cardboard piece on it and then they had the lower feet now the lower feet are nice i don't want to climb back out and grab them but the whole bottom of it is rubber and if it starts to come off i mean you could easily just glue it you could easily replace it you know so i was like wow that's that's a really nice touch i've had rails in the past where it's just the ends of the feet so more contact the better obviously and so inside those is the two half inch bolts and it is welded so you don't need nuts don't get scared it just threads right in and then it has four cotter pins so the cotter pins are what you use to remove the lower legs to fit it into a vehicle or adjust the height and I mean it was super simple it took like two seconds um, to rotate the rail which I'll show you guys later you barely loosen it you can spin it around retighten it and that's that uh, so it does the instructions it comes with you know it does come with some stickers which is really cool it comes with a warning and uh, it comes with what it comes with now it doesn't come with hey put this bolt here but obviously you take a big bolt it doesn't fit in the small holes pretty self-explanatory there I mean if you really want you could take the feet off or these upper legs off and fit it into a car a little better I think it took me a total of one minute to put it back together after taking it apart and yeah I was super stoked and the cool part is is it comes with the crescent wrench non-adjustable crescent I don't know I guess I would just be an open end but it had a magnet so you actually can magnet to the feet so that way the tool is with the rail at all times so you don't have to worry about forgetting it or anything like that um, if you want like what I kind of did is I have a cubby and I just have like a skate bag with my t-tool and stuff and I just keep it in there but I thought that was a, a kind of a cool thing that they did it was like a little tiny magnet that they put on that um, as far as you know moving around with one person it's effortless I literally pick it up like I'm deadlifting and I carry it around effortlessly and then boom so Let's talk a little bit about loading it into my vehicle. So I have a kind of a newer vehicle. It's a 2018. I do have this weird fetish that most people have about keeping stuff nice. I do not like door dings. I do not like scratches. I do like going to the car wash constantly. And I don't want um, my car to be dirty. And this is probably the dirtiest it's been in a long time. I've been doing a lot of fishing this week and a lot of skating. So it's just like all over the place, road trips and stuff. But yeah so I'm a little worried you know I got some leather in here and some plastics and I don't want it messed up so 
what I did is uh, this, like I said, is an SUV. I opened the hatch. I kind of put it in there nice and easy. And I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to slide the, uh, the seat, the passenger seat up all the way and just let it sit in the car, have a passenger and, and leave the car or leave the rail in the car. Um, I tried sliding that. I'd have to fold the seat forward, which blocks the view of the passenger window. I really didn't like that. So my solution was this. As you're seeing, this rail is exactly dead center of the vehicle. Um, it sits right here on my armrest, and I was a little nervous about that. So I actually put uh, this COVID mask right here underneath it for a little bit. But then I have my DC shoe box. Yeah, that I use for skating and that props it up enough where if I don't want it to touch it, it doesn't have to um, Basically, I tried driving From my house to this Walmart here. I got pretty bad sunburn. So it worked out. I had to make the trip anyways and I was like man, this thing's moving around a lot like if I got into an accident, I'm worried about it flying forward through the dash um, I'm worried about my safety other people's safety, you know worried about it moving where it's cutting you know the seats or scratching interior so what I did which I would recommend I mean you can do it on basically whatever so most of the time you're gonna fold the seats down if you're not in a truck that's just how it's gonna go but there is gonna be attachment points I mean you could even go as far as using your seat belt and seat belting through the rail into the clamp and, and doing it that way but me I got hooks in here that I have a net that holds all my stuff from flying forward um, so if you don't have anything that does that, I mean, nets are really cheap. I think like five, 10 bucks on Amazon and get it two days. Boom. Now you have a net, but I used a 10 foot ratchet strap and I went from one end through the rail in front of the brace here. I'll show you. So through the brace there, uh, kind of in a weird position, but yeah, so you'll see the bracing on it so that way it's at an angle where it can't slide forward if I slam the brakes am I worried about sliding backwards not really because it's you know has a tailgate stopping it but like say you know you just don't want it getting damaged you don't want scratches in your tailgate plastics so what I did is I dead turned it so you wrap it through the rail around it and then you make your loop on the back side of that bracket. So you kind of just create one strap in front and behind. And then I run it back through onto that hook. And the reason um, that works so well is because when you strap it down, it's gonna bite and it's gonna lock it in in both directions, right? So it can't really slide forward, slide back. So then I took my tail and I went through the furthest back bracing and I went back up to the same attachment point and did what I call a, a clove hitch. You can look that up. It's a very simple uh, hitch. And then you back it up and it's, it's good for a lot of weight. And that creates two strap points in this vehicle. So, I mean, if I roll over, get T-boned, you know, get rear-ended, get head on collision, this rail is not going to move. And that was pretty important to me, especially, you know, if you got a buddy in the car, you know, you want everybody to be safe. So, those are some of the things off the get-go that I can tell you on the introduction to the transformer rail and then obviously you're gonna figure out what works best for you per vehicle um, but yes it can fit into a Jeep it will be able to fit into a Tahoe Ford Explorer Expedition Escape uh, honestly my buddy has the Kia Soul so I really want to see if this thing fits in there obviously you can do the same thing by taking a tape measure and measuring the compartment of your vehicle but I wanted to show you guys with the rail, is this going to work? What's the functionality? Is it gonna affect my driving? You know, is it something I can leave in my vehicle? And yes, my driving is, is unimpaired. With the ratchet strap, I feel totally safe. And would I leave this in the vehicle? Absolutely, you know, I don't have enough friends to have passengers anyways. So there's that. But we'll get a little footage of, you know, skating the transformer rail doing some 50 50s maybe some board slides smith grinds whatever and we'll see you know how does it hold up obviously it's painted so it'll be slick at first in my opinion uh being that's a metal rail and then i'm assuming after a few grinds we're probably going to need to start waxing it we'll try to see how much wax we need everybody's has their own little preference but 
yeah so I, I you know use shorty curb wax works out pretty well for me and we'll do a little dry run on that we'll go over you know the breakdown process and what I think about this rail obviously I'm gonna have to say it's a 10 out of 10 but don't just jump and buy the 8 foot so there's gonna be an 8 foot option there's gonna be a 6 foot option there's gonna be the bench option uh, a mini transformers with the 4 foot option with the bench so if you got a smaller compact vehicle it might be worth buying that I believe it's a hundred dollars more than this one so that way if you know four feet obviously that's gonna be a, a lot of extra room in here but with the six foot bar I am more than happy with what I got going on here so I know this is a long drawn out thing but I remember when I was looking for this rail there just was there was information but I just there was a lot of questions that I had so hopefully this will answer a lot of those um, and like I said I bought it straight from transformer rail and they said it could take three to ten business days to ship it shipped pretty fast and I'm sure they're gonna get more in stock here shortly. Um, Keen Ramps might sell them. OC Ramps, I don't think does. Braille, obviously, like I said earlier, does. Transformer Rail does. And Transformer Rail does make custom stuff as well. You can go on the tab, you can email them and say, hey, I want a five foot bar because just six foot is just, just too much. And with um, a skateboard, you know, four foot might just be too little. But yeah, so hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, um, yeah, shoot me a DM. Uh, also, you can follow the Rusto Meadow Garage, which is more of the automotive stuff that we do uh, when it comes to auto performance, tuning, questions, restorations, anything from Fiat, Honda, you name it, lifted trucks, we do it. Um, have a good day. So mission success, we made it home safely. Uh, so this is kind of what I was talking about when it comes to that brace. So you see that one kind of slid back a little bit. Um, obviously you can just kind of wrap it around and then back over the top and then back to the hook and that'll really lock it in. Um, just doing a dead turn, it bites, it'll hold it. But if you want that better lock, but, and then you take your tail and you go around this brace. So that's why I didn't, you know, it works just fine. And then here are the feet right here. Let me move my fresh braille board. And then, so it comes with these guys. Here's the cotter pins. They just pull literally right out. And then this slides in and you just lock it in. And then there's the rubber feet. Man, I really think they did a good job with that. Um, it looks like it's glued pretty well. Um, and then I got my fishing pole. So yeah, so I mean for this being so packed um, No movement. It worked out really well um, Yeah, so hopefully you can get this comfortably um, If you use a shoe box that's empty put wood in it so it doesn't collapse um, One thing I noticed when I was driving is I did get reflection from the paint on the back window So looking out of the back window it kind of made it difficult to see when the Sun was hitting you can just put like a t-shirt or something over it um, and that'll that'll definitely stop that but all right thank you for watching